Hello and welcome to this short screencast about Kubeless. Kubeless is the a serverless framework uh, on top of Kubernetes. It's available open source at on GitHub at uh, github.com slash bitnami slash kubeless. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, a really quick uh, rundown of this. So first let's get on the uh, on the terminal and you'll see that I'm running uh, Kubernetes via uh, the lovely uh, Minikube. So here I have Minikube running. Let me clear that. And Minikube is running and I already started a few things to, to speed things up. I've pre-installed Kubeless, uh, which you can download from GitHub. The latest release gives you a CLI, which is called Kubeless. And you'll see that you have an install method. So I just run that, Kubeless install. It created a kubeless namespace and in that namespace it started the kubeless controller and it started also a Kafka controller which handles events uh, just for the uh, development uh, phase. Uh, you also see a few things. I have a few pods running here. I have Minio running the S3 clone, the object store, and I have something here called Slack and then another one called Thumb. What I've done here is that I actually have a few functions running. Kubeless function ls. I've created a few functions. One is called slack. There's a handler defined. And then a runtime. They're all Python function. And th those functions get triggered on events being emitted to a, uh, an, uh, a channel, a Kafka uh, a Kafka topic, which is here S3. So when messages are being published to this Kafka S3 topic, the functions are being triggered. This is really the essence of serverless. Building applications, combining applications uh, through small logical units that can be triggered by events. We have a, a little wrapper on top of the uh, Kafka, which allows us to list topics and also create uh, topics. So here you see kubeless topic ls. I've created a S3 uh, topic, uh, you know, previously. Now Minio. I want to do a demo with uh, the Minio object store. So I deployed Minio with uh, Helm. Helm is the package manager for Kubernetes. So here Helm ls. You see that I have a, an application that's been starting started called Minio. And that's why when I look at my, uh, my deployments and my pods, I'll see that I have a Minio uh, deployment that's uh, running. Of course, you can get all of this and follow all of this more carefully by going to the kubeless repo in examples. And you'll see that there is a Minio folder. And then there is a, you know, a readme where you can follow how I actually uh, set up Minio to publish events to Kafka and so on. Minio is quite interesting because it has this building notification system through uh, Kafka. So now in this other tab here, you'll see that I have Minio running. So at this point, there is no serverless involved. I just deployed Minio with the Helm package manager. Uh, the one thing I've, I've done is that I've also created a few Kubernetes secrets. So kubectl get secrets. You see that I have a Minio secret which contains my access key and secret keys to access uh, the Minio UI and the Minio API. And I also have a uh, stuck uh, token to talk to Slack, uh, a token to use the Slack API. It, and it's, uh, it's stored in a, um, a Kubernetes secret as well. Okay. So now what functions did I, uh, did I start with kubeless? Uh, again, in my example directory, you'll see that there is a Slack uh, repository, a Slack directory, sorry, with a, a readme that you can check. And there is um, um, a function in there. So if we go in the Slack directory, you'll see a function. So it's a little bit of Python. Uh, to be able to talk to Minio and, uh, and talk to Slack, I'm also using here the Kubernetes a Python client to retrieve the secrets and retrieve the keys and the token directly from Kubernetes. And then the actual function, uh, you know, the Slack function is here. So you see that it's a single function 
which you know looks at the uh, the event coming on that S3 topic. So if it's an object creation here, object created put, which is the format being used by uh, by Mino, then I you know I look at the bucket name and the file name, and then I send a message. Okay. So now what happens? My function is running. Kubeless Kubeless has created uh, loaded the function inside Kubernetes pods that have been started with deployments and they are exposed by services. So now what happens is that in that bucket foobar that I've pre-created, if I upload a file, uh, let's say, okay, whatever, one of my Python scripts, here, boom, I see a message from my, uh, in my Slack uh, bot channel, here, the last one, called Minio test, file called Minio test was uploaded to foobar. If I upload another one, uh, when do we take uh, request test PI? And we do this, ah, and you see the Slack message. Let's go, and now here, request PI uploaded. So that's already quite good. We have deployed Minio with Helm. Uh, Minio has been configured to publish to the Kafka broker that's been started with Kubeless. And we've launched, created a function uh, a quick Python function that's been deployed in Kubernetes and that function is triggered by an event that happens in Minio. Great. Uh, so let's look at another function that's a little bit more uh, excited. Exciting, sorry. It's a thumbnail creator. So here again, you know, if you go in the examples directory of the kubeless repo, bitnami kubeless, you'll find Minio directory, resize, uh, and there is a, a readme here. The function here you see the function so again I'm loading the the secrets I'm using a Python module pillow to be able to do the thumbnail creation and then here you see the function definitely you can improve my Python I would welcome any PRs uh, but basically here I check that and make sure that it's a uh, it's a file you know JPEG uh, this can be improved and then when you put an object in the bucket foobar then get that object from Minio here you see that's when I create the thumbnail and then I create I put the thumbnail in another bucket called thumb okay so that's an automating automated thumbnail creator so now in Minio I see that I have a thumb uh, bucket and a foobar bucket so the function is running let's upload an image one of my lovely kid notice that my uh, Slack function is also being triggered because different functions get into two different consumer group. Notice the image 154 kilobyte. And if I go now to the thumb folder, hey, I got an image that's been created 2.71 kilobyte. Okay. And if I click on it, I should see a thumbnail. Here you go. So that's automated thumbnail creation uh, thanks to Kubeless. Uh, which is open source serverless framework on top of Kubernetes. Those functions that I showed you, you know, I mean, they are just basic functions. Uh, you know, you, you're welcome to, uh, to improve them, send us a PR. But, you know, they were injected automatically by Kubeless inside a, a pod. Okay, so we're leveraging the pods, uh, the services, the deployment of Kubernetes, and Kubeless is also leveraging third-party resources. So when you look at the third-party resources, you see that we've created a new endpoint, function.kls.io, and you can actually use the kubectl command to list functions, and you see get function, you have the slack and the thumb function. Uh, I can, of course, delete functions, so function delete slack. Let's delete slack, and now if I look at the get function, my slack function is gone. And if I look at my pods, my slack, you know, will soon start to be uh, terminated. Okay. So that's the quick demo about uh, kubeless. Try it out. Uh, GitHub.com slash bitnami slash kubeless. Thanks. Bye.